Good morning, guys. I hope you're doing well. I hope you are ready for this week, for this day, for the next 10 minutes. I believe in you. You can section everything off as you need. All right, it is Monday. Thank you for tuning in. I am Gabby Nobody, and we're going to go to chapter 9 today, which is a growth mindset. Now, you might be asking yourself, what the hell is a growth mindset? Ultimately, is this like psychological phenomenon? There was this other word that they used. It's an actual demonstrable psychological phenomenon, which for me, it did fascinate me reading this chapter. So there are two types of people. There are people with a grow mindset and there are also people with a fixed mindset. Now, you got to consider which one do you want to be. Change is good. Growth is good and always keep that in mind. So obviously growth mindset will help you succeed in this world. So it says here, let's see, people with a growth mindset tend to have a desire to learn from life. This desire leads to the ability to embrace challenges, to overcome setbacks, to see effort as worth the results, to accept criticism, and to admire and learn from the successes of others. These behaviors allow native intelligence to grow throughout a lifetime, hence the name. People with a growth mindset are believers of free will, and this belief allows them to achieve their goals time and time again. People with a fixed mindset tend to have a desire to appear smart with a corresponding fear of looking foolish. Their desire leads them to avoid challenges, to give up easily, to see extra effort as wasted, to ignore or reject criticism, and to envy and begrudge the success of others. These behaviors tend to limit your native intelligence to a fixed amount, hence, again, the name. People with a fixed mindset often plateau early in life and fail to have, let alone reach, fixed goals. Now, again, growth mindset, fixed mindset. People with a grown mindset see life as it is, which ultimately it's full of challenges. It's full of time and time again that shit is going to happen to you. Time and time again that you're going to fail. Time and time again that you are going to be tested. But people with a grow mindset get excited for these. And for me specifically, I do feel like I've been through way too much shit to give up on myself. And I do know that at the end of the day, it's like, this is me. Like, everything that I do is up to me. I watched Dumpling, and in Dumpling, one of the quotes said, people are going to tell you who you are, but you yourself choose who you choose to be. Okay. And that's life for me. And then people with a fixed mindset, it was saying that they want to look smart. They want to look like they're doing everything. And at the end of the day, like their fear is to look dumb or foolish, which limits them to take risks, limits them to challenge themselves, limits them to try out new things. And, you know, that doesn't help anybody. But there is good news. My phone is about to run out of memory. Change is good. Habits is a hell of a powerful concept. First of all, you have to decide growth over stagnation. You have to be willing to take positive action and begin to accept challenges and criticism and learning from both. An excellent way to begin is by developing the philosophy of yet. Like, they will never work. This will never work. Yet. And then think of another idea, you know, like, it's so easy to come up with excuses. I hope you guys enjoy this beautiful day. Happy Monday. No word of the day. Just found that out myself. Didn't write it. So let's do a quote. Give love, receive love, and be love. Just tell yourself that. Give love, receive love, and be love. Deuces. Gabby Nobody. See you guys tomorrow.